Do you think that there might be a resurgence in web apps? I know we talked about this a little bit last last episode, um, but there's there's a push now from Apple um, to get web apps to be like the main alternative to the app store obviously for their own selfish reasons um, they can <laughs> they can say that that's uh that that's the side loading alternative people have been asking for um but that could certainly have like a like some sort of effect on uh, other platforms as well um and I, that's already certainly possible on android um to add web apps um like as if they were apps on your phone um do you think we'll see more of that at all or do you think um will be stuck with stuff like Aurora for quite a while. Well, I guess, uh, you know, only time will tell. I really hope we move into more web-based direction. And I gotta say, just on an individual level, that reality already mostly exists for most things, if you really want it. Um, like myself, which I'm sure you know, the first thing I do when I like find something to install on my phone is, oh, so how's the web app? Because <laughs> I, I just try everything possible to avoid the actual app on my phone. Um, this was even a thing for like my dating life when I was doing some online dating. I realized that the web app on desktop is awesome, so I just didn't even install it on my phone and I only use the web app on my computer. Um, Todoist is another example. That, that's a tool that we use internally for keeping track of our projects and stuff. Um, their web app is phenomenal. Like I love the Todoist web app and so I only use the web app on my phone. Um, Twitter, when I used to be more active on Twitter, I don't actually do anything on Twitter anymore. We just have our feed automatically post there. But when I was using Twitter on mobile, it was all a web app. So a lot of the apps that you use can actually be web apps. And with Mastodon recently, I've been using Elk, E-L-K, which is actually my favorite Mastodon client I've ever used. The UI is so good, so good. I think nothing, like nothing I've used beats Elk and it's all web-based. They don't even have any clients. Um, so I think web, and this even extends, you might be thinking, oh, but what about my password manager? There's even like web app KeePass clients. You can use KeePass in your web app. You might be thinking, okay, I manage my eBooks in Calibre. There's a Calibre web app. Like there are web apps for most things you use. And so it's really just a question of like how far you want to go into that world. But hopefully the options, like you said, get better so that the friction point of needing to use these tools is a lot better. Um, because yeah, breaking dependence from the app store is great. And I know that like, <laughs> like I know you probably, you, you recently mentioned that you might've listened to at least clips of my interview with John, John Osbey from Crypty, but that is their whole reason why they don't have any apps on the app store. They're like, we don't want any de dependence on these app stores. We want to be able to host our, our site anywhere we want. We don't ha want to have control over them or sorry, we want to have control over them. So I hope that we move into a more web-based direction, but as of right now, that's for a lot of people probably not realistic. Because um, for example, with the dating thing, as I used as an example, you can't actually access the web, those web apps on your phone. You still have to use the app on your phone. They don't let you use the web app on your phone, even though they have a web app. Yeah, that's why I don't really see, like I don't think a lot of these major developers are gonna be switching to web apps, unfortunately. 